Reverend Sullivan, does your recent announcement, is that tantamount to saying you're giving up on the Sullivan principles? No, it's tantamount to saying that the principles and the efforts of the companies if aggressively followed and implemented have the power to bring about along with other thrust the efforts of governments world union movements church groups and the effort of those within South Africa who are working courageously for justice and for fundamental change that all these forces working together have the ability to bring about the abolition of apartheid as a system in South Africa. Eight years ago, the founder and chairman of Opportunities Industrialization Centers of America, the Reverend Leon Sullivan, formulated the Sullivan Principles, an equal rights code for American firms conducting business in South Africa. About half of the companies are voluntarily complying with the principles. However, a recent Senate bill sought to make them mandatory. But Reverend Sullivan says, quote, time is running out for peaceful change, end quote, and gives his principles two more years to work. What is the next move if a peaceful change does not come during that period? I'm Tony Brown. In a moment, can the Sullivan principles survive?